Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I am so excited to draw today. Like I always say, this is my favorite part of the week, getting to draw with you guys. And you know, it's summertime and it is hot. I don't know what it's like in your neck of the woods, but over here in Boise, Idaho, it is really, really hot. So I was trying to think of things to draw and the only thing I could think of was cold things. <laughs> and what, you know, what better to draw than something cold and delicious. So today we're gonna be drawing popsicles. Popsicles are one of my most favorite summer treats, well, pretty much any time of the year treat. And they come in all sorts of colors and sizes and different flavors. So I'm really, really excited to see what you guys come up with, but we're gonna draw a few of them here. But before we do anything, we need to make sure we have all of our tools and we're ready to go. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper. You're gonna need a pencil, of course, for what? That's right, we're gonna be doing some sketching. We always do sketching first. And then we're also gonna need a dark marker or a pen that we can do our final outline of whatever we're drawing here. And then we also need to have a, an eraser so we can go ahead and erase all that sketch underneath. But you'll see what we're doing with that. And at the very end, of course, the most fun part, especially when we're drawing popsicles, is going to be colors. So I have some markers here. You don't have to use markers. You can use pencils, you can use um, you can use paint, you can use crayons, whatever you want to use uh, is just fine. Let's go ahead and start with our sketch. Now, I want to draw a lot of different popsicles. I think it's kind of, you know, it can be fun to draw one popsicle, but there's so many different kinds and I kind of wanted to draw some of my favorites. So go ahead and draw as many of these as you want, but we're going to go through a few different because they come in all different shapes and sizes and I think it'd be kind of fun to put a few on here. So. We're gonna start off with, uh, let's do kind of the, the traditional popsicle that you're used to seeing. And we're gonna, we're gonna try to lay them out a little bit here so we can fit them all on this page. I'm gonna start with, kind of start with like a, a rectangle shape. And draw real lightly when you're sketching. You don't need to draw too hard because later on we're gonna go over this with a, with a pen or a marker and then you're gonna wanna erase all that sketch underneath. So you don't have to be don't fall too in love with your, your pencil marks. There we go. So you can draw that little curve on the top. Now if you want, if it's easier, you can just draw a full circle through here. And then we can just go through and erase this. So sometimes it's easier to draw a full circle than a half circle. I don't know why that is. I think it's just how your, your arm moves. It feels strange doing a half a circle. So if it's all one motion, it makes it easier. So we'll do that. And then let's kind of cut off the, maybe I want this a little bit shorter. So I'll go through and erase that. Now remember, we're gonna work kind of quickly right here because we're not, we're not, these aren't set in stone, these little sketches here. This is just to kind of get our, our ideas out. So obviously we have to do little popsicle sticks coming out of there. And that's what makes some popsicles and not ice cubes. All right, so let's do another shape. What other shape popsicles are there? What's your favorite type of popsicle? So don't be feeling like you have to stick with just these ones. Feel if you have other ones that you like, go ahead and draw those as well. I'm just gonna draw a few of my favorites. So I think maybe the single popsicle where it's like the long skinny one. That one's another pretty popular one. Let's do that one next. So that's another rectangle. It's gonna be a little bit thinner, obviously. Kinda looks like we're drawing a hot dog. At the top, we're gonna draw a circle. Kind of rounds off the edge there. And then quickly, we can just go through and erase that. I like to erase my lines as I'm going because if I don't, sometimes I forget which parts I need to erase when I'm going over it with, uh, with my marker here. And then I start coloring in lines with the marker that I can't erase. And that makes it a little frustrating. So that's why we do as much as we can here with our pencils. Get all the mistakes out now. It's a good time to do it. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm rounding off the ends of my popsicle sticks because if obviously we've seen popsicle sticks, they're rounded, not just squared off at the end. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now it's on to our third popsicle. But while we're drawing it, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of popsicles because they were discovered by a kid. And how cool is that? A kid discovered popsicles, but that kind of seems fitting, doesn't it? Okay, so let's start first with the shape here. Uh, there's a popsicle that I liked growing up. It was called like a rocket popsicle. I think it was called a rocket pop. Rocket pop? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, regardless, it was a really cool one. It was red, white, and blue, and it was super delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing that one. But just so you know about that kid, his name was Frank Epperson. And he, one night, he was stirring up his, uh, he was stirring up some soda powder 
and water, and he left it in a, he left it in a bucket there or in the cup with the stirring stick. And overnight, it was a really cold night, and it froze. So when he got up in the morning, he discovered popsicles. Now, they weren't called popsicles then, and he didn't really know what to do with it right away, but he figured out that he could sell them to his friends. They were a tasty treat, and he called them Epperson Icicles. And I was like, that's a pretty cool name. It wasn't until he was older that he decided to call them popsicles. And that's how we know them today. That's pretty crazy. That's kind of cool that a kid discovered popsicles. I feel like that is just so fitting. Okay, so you see in this shape, it's a little bit unique. It doesn't really look like too much like a rocket, but I don't think it really mattered. It tasted so good. We didn't care. But there you go. It goes like that. And then when we start coloring these, you're going to start seeing... Uh, a little bit more. We'll add a few more details in here because some of these have little dents in them and some of them have stripes and they look a lot cooler once we add all those details. So this will just be the outline of our our pop, our uh, popsicle there, a little Astro Pop. And this other one's actually really neat because during the depression when it was a really, really hard time here in America, people didn't have very much money at all and there's a lot, a lot of poor folks. The popsicle, the double popsicle was created I don't know if you've seen them. They're not as popular anymore. But this is how we're going to draw. We're going to kind of draw a, uh, a rectangle shape here. And then it's going to have two little bumps on the top. Right here. Like two little hills on the top. Because this was actually, this popsicle right here, just merged together. So they made it because kids couldn't really afford a lot. So if they, if they sold these popsicles, they could share them. They could break them in half and share them with their friends. It's a pretty cool idea, huh? I feel like that's kind of a... A neat backstory for these funky looking popsicles that we always wondered why you had the two on there. I mean, maybe sometimes you shared with your, your friends, but a lot of times you just ate them by yourself. But it's kind of cool that that's what they are made for to, to share. Kind of like a Kit Kat bar. Okay, I think these are looking pretty good. Well, we're getting close. I think we have room for one more up here. And this is another one of my favorites. It was, uh, it was like a cherry... I think it was a cherry pineapple flavor. I don't even know the name of the popsicle, but it was a really thick popsicle. And it was, it was always the biggest one. And that's why everybody, I think we liked that one so much. They came in a really, really long. And they're flat on the top. And they can have three different little layers here. And uh, we'll do that with the color. But there again, we'll add that, that stick at the bottom. And there we go. It's looking really good. We got all the little popsicles in there. I'm excited to see what popsicles you chose. And if you chose these ones, we're going to have a lot of fun with the colors because uh, these kind of came in all sorts of colors and they had stripes. And so I think the next part that we want to do is go through and just outline. Now, I didn't put anything over here. Maybe we'll put our signature over there, kind of fill in that space. But right now we're going to go through and just outline. Go over our sketches so that we have something to color in. I like to think of it as making my own little coloring book for myself. When I use the, the permanent markers, sometimes it can be kind of scary because they're permanent. Uh, and sometimes your parents may not appreciate it that you're using permanent markers. So if you do, make sure you let your parents know that you're using permanent markers. But also, I have another sheet of paper under here just because it bleeds through. If you can see at the bottom, it starts to bleed through. So having something else underneath there and have it not be your mom's table is probably a good idea because it's permanent. It does not come out. All right, so let's keep going here and finish outlining all of our popsicles. All right, so now that we have them all outlined, we can go through and erase. That's why I brought that eraser out. I usually like to get a bigger eraser so I can erase all of those sketch marks underneath there. While I'm erasing these, I thought you might be interested to know that the first ice cream truck, I say ice cream truck with air quotes here because it wasn't really a truck. In fact, it was a horse-drawn carriage. Uh, but instead of ice cream, it actually sold popsicles. Oh, that's pretty cool, but it's kind of interesting that we call it an ice cream truck. Maybe that's just because that's where they originated. The idea of selling frozen treats out of a vehicle, not necessarily a truck or, or ice cream even. 
All right, we got it all cleaned up. All right, now we're ready to color, and it's gonna be so much fun because there's so many different flavors. Actually, the first flavors that ever came out were cherry, root beer, lemon, banana, orange, grape, and watermelon. You don't really hear watermelon too often anymore. That's one of my favorite flavors of treats. So I wanna find a watermelon popsicle, but the one that was the most favorite then was cherry and it still is today. Cherry is the most popular popsicle, but I'm gonna go through, start coloring these in, go ahead, use whatever you want to color them in, and uh, we'll catch up right afterwards. And we'll talk about how delicious looking our popsicles are. popsicles are finished. We just finished coloring in the popsicle sticks and it's official. These turned out so fun. Now I think you could add a lot more to this illustration if you wanted to. You can add either more popsicles, you can add fun little like stars and things. Maybe this is a 4th of July themed popsicle illustration. You have fireworks behind it. There's a lot of fun things you can do from here. So at this point though, I'll let you go ahead and take it where you want to go with it. And uh, hopefully you had a ton of fun coloring it in. I know I sure had a lot of fun. So thank you guys for showing up and doing this with me. And uh, of course, before we finish, we always, or I guess after we're finished illustrating, we always need to sign our work. You're proud of what you made, so you need to make sure you let everybody know by putting your initials, your name there at the bottom, and it can be officially completed. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I know you're taking a little bit of your outside time, but maybe this is just a time to cool off and draw some fun popsicles and maybe go have a popsicle afterwards, who knows? Make sure you also check out our website. We now have a brand new website at bravekidsartclub.com. I know some of your parents would like to watch this outside of YouTube. So if you go to our website, you can see on there, you can watch all the different videos in the website so you don't have any of the ads or anything else like that. And there's an art wall, so we get to see your work. So please make sure after you're done, have your parents take a photo of your artwork and send it to me. You can do that on Instagram or you can email us. Uh, any way your parents want to get that to us so we can share that. Maybe it'll pop up in another episode. We'll show off your work or it'll make it there on our website. But either way, I'm so grateful for you guys. And remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.